Isto ga, divno. Wonderful. And now we have a person who's coming to us who laughs. One who brings laughter and joy to others. And it is Yaakov. Our dear Yaakov was born in 1971 in Sarajevo. He has Adelia Persians from the 25th of June 1991 to 12th of September 1998. On that day, entrusting the 10th secret to him, Our Lady told him that for during his entire life, he will have an apparition once a year at Christmas. Yaakov is married, he has three children, and lives with his family in Medjugorje. His prayer intention, which Our Lady entrusted to him, is for the sick. Yaakov, welcome. First of all, I would like to greet all of you. It is a great joy to see you here in such great numbers, in a special way, all of you, the youth, who are today here. When today I thought about what I was going to say to you, I remembered Our Lady's words that she repeats often when she gives her message. She says, Dear children, today I'm calling you. And that is why I think if you are here today in Medjugorje, if you are in such a great number, you are here because you are invited and called by Our Lady. You are here because God also wanted you to be here. I believe and I desire that each of your hearts may be able to comprehend this immeasurable love that Our Lady has towards each one of us and perhaps in a special way for all of you, the youth. I believe every one of us, every one of us is important for Our Lady. We are all her children. A lady, by coming here to Medjugorje, didn't come only because of Yaakov, Vitska, Ivan, Mirjana, Maria. She has come because of every one of us. That is why I always invite all of the pilgrims when I have my witness. And also today, I'm inviting you today. May your first words here in Medjugorje be the words of thanksgiving. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Blessed Mother, for all of your gifts, for all of your graces. Thank you, Lord, in a special way that you are permitting our Mother to spend and to be so much time here with us. We are all important for Mary. We are all her children. And first of all, we must do in Medjugorje is to say and give our yes to give our yes to Mary, to give our yes to God, because Our Lady has come here for only one reason. She desires to bring us to Jesus. I believe that each one of us is important for Our Lady. Each one of us is a precious pearl for Our Lady. Let us never permit that that pearl may become muddied and dirty. Let us always seek for that pearl to shine in our life, throughout our lives, especially you, the young. Coming here now to Medjugorje, do not think that as of today, your life will be easier. No. In our lives, we will all have falls. We will all have crosses, just as I have had them in my life. I have often had falls. I've often had a cross, but at every moment, even when I thought that I'm living in darkness, I always saw that light. That was God's light that spoke to me, that I felt in my heart, speaking in my heart, saying, 
I am here, do not be afraid, I am with you. You are my son. I will help you. And that was God. And that is why I invite you. In the first place also, when you come here to Medjugorje, make a holy confession. Let us free our hearts from everything that hinders us from drawing closer to the Lord, that we may accept the Lord into our hearts, that we may accept everything that Our Lady, through all these 34 years, has been asking of us, everything that she's calling us to. I am the youngest of the six. I think you also can see that I'm the youngest. In these days, you will see how much the others have aged. <laughs> My life, my childhood before our lady's apparitions was the life of a normal child of 10 years old. I lived a very simple faith, a faith that my parents taught me. I often prayed in my family, but I never even thought about seeking of God this gift to see Our Lady, because I only knew that Our Lady existed, that God existed. But they simply, they are found in heaven. And everything changed on the 25th of June, 1981. And I can call it the most beautiful day of my life. I can also say a day of my new birth. It is the day when God gave me this great grace, this great gift to see Our Lady. Always with great joy do I remember this my first encounter with Our Lady on the Hill of Apparitions, when for the first time I looked in the eyes of Our Lady. How much love did I see in Our Lady's eyes, but at the same time I felt that love in my heart at that moment, I felt so loved, protected. At that moment, I felt like a child of a mother. And that was the first moment when in my heart I felt Our Lady as my mother. And I came to love Our Lady as my mother. After the first apparition, we remained in prayer, even though we were little then. We understood that we have received a great gift, a great grace, but at the same time that we have received a great responsibility. And then one asks oneself, what will my life be like from this time on? Will I be able to do everything that Our Lady is going to ask of me? These questions went in front of us until Our Lady gave us a message where she said, Dear children, it is enough for you to open your hearts. The rest I will do myself. And then I understood. I, as a child, I could not do much, but I can do only one thing. I can say my yes, my yes to the Lord, and to surrender my entire life and my heart into their hands. From that moment on, a new life began for me, a new life with Our Lady, with the Lord. And by going ahead, growing in my faith, I have understood what a great gift it is to see Our Lady, what a great grace it is, but at the same moment that I've also received an even greater gift, and that greater gift is for me to come to know Jesus Christ through Our Lady. This is also what I've said a moment ago, that is the reason because Our Lady has been coming here to Medjugorje. Our Lady is coming to be able to bring us to Jesus, to show us this way that leads us to Jesus Christ. And that way is the way through prayer, through conversion, through peace, through fasting, and through Holy Mass. I know, especially for you, the youth, when you hear all these messages, many of you will ask yourselves, how am I going to do all this? That was also my first question that I posed to myself. How am I going to be able to accept all this? 
But when you come to love a lady as your mother, when you accept in your heart our lady as your mother, then nothing will be difficult for you to do. But there's also one other thing. You must ask for a gift from God, a gift from God that whatever you do, you may be able to always do out of love and to always do with the heart. That is why Our Lady always says, dear children, open your hearts. In a special way, when she says pray, she says pray with your heart. You will not be able to leave Medjugorje, all of you praying three mysteries of the rosary, to pray three hours, as one, Our Lady said once, but start slowly. We have understood, I have understood that Our Lady was teaching us, she was leading us through this school of prayer. Our Lady first of all said here when she came, pray the seven Our Fathers. After that, Our Lady says, pray one mystery of the rosary. Then she said, pray three mysteries of the rosary. Then after that, she said, pray three hours a day. But when your heart feels that through prayer you're receiving peace, that in your heart you have joy, that through prayer you are receiving all the answers to everything you are seeking in your life, then you will be able to start to pray. And it will not be difficult for you to pray. That is why I invite you. You're here in Medjugorje. You're here in this place where God is giving us 34 years of great gifts. Ask for that gift from God. Ask of God the gift of prayer with the heart. Because prayer with the heart, no one can describe to you what it is, but your heart can feel this. God is here. Seek that gift from God. Our Lady also is calling us to conversion. That is very important for all the pilgrims, and especially for you, the youth. You come here to Medjugorje. Why are we to come to Medjugorje? In the first place, we don't come to Medjugorje because of the visionaries. We are like every other person. We live an ordinary life, just like every other person. None of us is holy. We want to live in holiness. We desire to be holy, as the Lady is calling all of us to holiness. At the same time, we are like every other person. Do not come to Medjugorje looking for signs. Do not stand half an hour looking at the sun to see if you will see some sign, because that is not Medjugorje. Medjugorje is not me, Yaakov. Medjugorje is not the sun spinning. Medjugorje is something completely different. Medjugorje is a change of life. Medjugorje is coming to know a new life. Medjugorje is coming to know God. Medjugorje is to begin a new life. A new life with God. A new life with Our Lady. That is Medjugorje. And you must understand, all of you have come here to Medjugorje, as I've said a moment ago. You have come because you are invited and called by Our Lady. But at the same time, you must understand that everyone has this moment. Each one of you here has a great responsibility. Because Our Lady always says, dear children, I desire that each one of you becomes my apostle in the world. And today in a special way, I would say, the greatest apostles in the world are you, the young. I often hear many criticisms against the youth. The youth are like this or like that. No. We have so many good young people. There are so many young who are helping others, so many young who are going to the missions, but of whom we know little of. You are valuable to Our Lady. You can do much. And when you return back from Medjugorje, it's not only important to say, we were in Medjugorje. You don't even have to say that. May the other people, in a special way, the other youth whom you will meet, recognize Medjugorje in you. May they recognize the light of Medjugorje in you through your life. Many young people, today are afraid of converting, because they think, if I convert, 
than 24 hours a day, I will have to be on my knees and kneeling down. No. It doesn't mean that. To convert means to have God in the first place in one's life. At the same time to live a normal life. I grew up with a lady, so I can, I can say that. But I always lived an ordinary life with my friends. Sometimes I went for a drink with them. I tried to go even, even to disco. I didn't like it. I went out. But always if you have God in your heart, always you will come to know on your own what is good and what is bad. That is why do not be afraid of conversion. Do not be afraid here in Medjugorje to open your hearts. May these days that you're spending here in Medjugorje be days of grace for you, days of opening your hearts for God. Because the lady always repeats this, open your hearts. Because I believe that sometimes we do not comprehend how much Our Lady loves us. Let us just look and see Our Lady has been coming for 34 years. How often have we thought about Our Lady is coming because of me? Because she simply says, dear children, how many of us have thought about that? Our Lady is coming here because of me, because I am her child, because she loves me. Our Lady always says at the end of the message, thank you for having responded to my call. Let us think for a moment about these words, that Our Lady is thanking us. This we can also explain I mean, that Our Lady still believes in us. She still trusts that we will open ourselves to her, that we will open our hearts to her, and that Our Lady will be able to lead us to Jesus. And let us remember these most beautiful words of Our Lady. In which Our Lady expresses all her immeasurable motherly love to us when she says, Dear children, if you knew how much I loved you, you would cry with joy. And I believe. Also today, in a special way, Our Lady wants to say to each of you, all of you, the youth, dear youth, if you knew how much I loved you, you would cry with joy. And because of that, let us leave Medjugorje with the greatest souvenir of Medjugorje, let us leave with peace in our hearts. Let us set out with love in our hearts. Let us set out with God in the first place in our hearts. And let us begin to witness. I will pray for all of you, for all of your intentions, for all the sick. But in the same way, I'm calling you, inviting you to pray for all of us here in Medjugorje. We all need prayers, and I believe always what draws us closer here in Medjugorje, all of you pilgrims, is prayer. And that is why let us remain always united in prayer. And now we will pray a Hail Mary for all of your intentions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Queen of Peace, pray for us. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen.